All right, guys, uh, here is the review before you take your quiz assessment today on this whole process of transcription and translation. Uh, I wanted to be able to let you review a little bit before you took it and just give you some pointers and things to remember. So I'm gonna go closer to the board and we're gonna go step by step through this whole process. First things first, everything we're doing is generally referred to as the central dogma. The central dogma is referred to as the process in which we start with a DNA molecule and eventually wind up with these protein compounds that are just little amino acids put together. That's the little green dots is what I'm talking about. Amino acids coming together is a protein. And the way we do the central dogma is when we have the DNA molecule, we can transcribe that code into a messenger RNA molecule, which leaves the nucleus and goes to the cytoplasm, finds a ribosome, and then puts amino acids together to make a protein compound. So in picture form, let's go up here to this side of the board. Transcription happens in the nucleus. The nucleus is not a solid wall, it is porous. It has little spaces in which things can, if they are small enough, leave. So in the cell, the nucleus, having those little porous uh, membrane surfaces, that DNA molecule is too big to leave those little holes. So what happens is that genetic code in the form of DNA gets transcribed, process of transcription in the nucleus, gets transcribed into that messenger RNA molecule, that single-stranded genetic code. And it leaves through those little holes in the nuclear membrane, and it enters the cytoplasm, where we have all of these ribosomes hanging around. Well, a ribosome will latch onto that messenger RNA molecule, and we're gonna zoom in, pretend I zoomed in, and we've got that ribosome latched on to that messenger RNA molecule, hence the name mRNA. When that happens, that ribosome that's latched on is going to round up transfer RNAs, hence the name tRNA. Those transfer RNAs are carrying amino acids. Those amino acids get rounded up by the ribosome. The ribosome rounds up the tRNAs carrying the amino acids and it detaches those amino acids and puts them together. And when they start getting put together in the cytoplasm, that's the translation side of this whole central dogma. What we're looking at is the translation process. When those all get put together, we've got what's called a polypeptide chain, otherwise known as amino acid chain, otherwise known as a protein. And that's the translation side. So that's the whole central dogma, starting from the DNA molecule in the nucleus and ending up in the cytoplasm with the ribosome, messenger RNA, tRNA, amino acids, all working together to make our proteins. Now, here's what it looks like with the code. Pretend this is our double-sided DNA molecule. A, T, G, C, A, A, T, G, G has its other side, it's double-sided, hence the double helix shape, that gets transcribed into a messenger RNA molecule, single-stranded. So we transcribed that top side over here, and we have it in threes, those are called codons, as you know from the vocabulary. And so those codons are read in threes, Sorry, the RNA, the messenger RNA molecule is read in threes. Every three nitrogen bases is a codon. And to know what amino acids are going to get put together, what protein shape, what protein we're going to put together from that code, we read the codon chart. Guys, to get some last minute practice on this, please check the instructions on slide 44 in the notes. The notes are in the agenda under materials. There's a video. It's awesome, got a lot of good instructions for how to use the codon chart, but there it is. I'm sorry this was the rush tutorial, and oh, one last thing, from that messenger RNA we get the amino acids 
using the codon chart, tyrosine, valine, threonine. But when we write them down, we generally only use the first three letters of the word. But yeah, there is the rush tutorial of the central dogma. Don't stress about your quiz assessment. Um, you'll do fine. Just follow the instructions and yeah, I think we'll be all right. Thanks guys.